the mood and the colors with just a click, just like magic. guys, my name is Priscilla Elias and today we're talking about how to make your photos look amazing with just a click or more specifically we're talking about presets. If you've been following me for a while now you might have already seen a video I did a couple of months ago talking about if people should use presets or not. Nothing's changed since then. My opinion is still the same which is in order for any presets to look amazing you need to have at least an idea of what you're doing. If someone's selling you a preset telling you the opposite I'm sorry, but I think they might either be mistaken or they might be trying to fool you. But if you have an awesome shot taken with the perfect exposure and if the dynamic range in your photo is in balance, then the presets I'm about to show you will look amazing with just one click of a button. If that's not the case, if your photo is not perfectly exposed, and many times they're not, I will teach you how to make your photos look amazing with just a couple of seconds with a few small adjustments by using these presets I created and used myself all throughout 2020 and am still using now in 2021. If you've been here with me in the channel for a while, you know by now I've been doing quite a few thematic photo sessions where I share with you all about the sessions I do, the equipment I used, the settings, the photo shoot itself, tips to get better shots in each situation and so on. For that reason I created my first Lightroom pack based in some of those themes slash sessions. Okay, so first things first. Once you buy the preset collection, you will unzip the file and you will find three folders inside. The Lightroom Mobile folder, the Lightroom Classic 7.3 or later, and the Lightroom 4 to 6 folder. Depending on the version of Lightroom you want to install them to, you will choose the folder to use. In order for you to find out which version of Lightroom you have, you will open up Lightroom, you will go to this menu up here, click About Lightroom, and here you'll find the information you need. Inside the folder you just uploaded with the presets, you will also find a how to install PDF where I explain in detail what you need to do to have your presets installed to Lightroom. The installation process for Lightroom Mobile will not be the same installation process you will use for Lightroom Classic 7.3 version or later, and it will not be the same for Lightroom 4 to 6 either. Each of them should be installed in a particular manner and it's not complicated at all. I won't go through the process of installation on this video because that's why I wrote the PDF. There you'll find all the information you need in order for you to install it. What I will go through with you here today is how to make your photos look amazing even if your exposure is not great or if your dynamic range is hitting the extremes. And what I mean by that is, for example, this photo. As you can see, in order for me to expose the background correctly, in a way I wouldn't lose too much details to it, I needed to underexpose my subject. Now, if I apply one of the presets, the photo will not look perfect, in fact, it will kind of look funky. So in order to fix that, you will need to adjust the exposure a bit. it took me what 30 seconds maybe less if I choose another preset so I will choose this preset and do exactly the same and of course each one of your photos could need a little bit more or less of each of these tweaks let's take another photo this one is perfectly exposed so as you see it doesn't matter which preset I apply to it, all of them look great. 
So you can pretty much just choose which mood you want to it and that's it. And here are some more before and after the presets so you can get a good taste of them. For this photo, I wanted to bring up the Christmas mood. So what tones would you picture in your mind when you think of Christmas? It is important to say that it is not because I call a preset Christmas time, for example, that my Christmas time pack can only be used for Christmas. If you read the description of each of my presets in the store, you will find exactly what to expect of each preset. For Christmas time, for example, you will have this muted, brownish, moody, but still vibrant tone that is how I see and feel Christmas. It's cherished, but it is still a cold period of the year where we bake cookies and have hot drinks in company of people we love. It's a cozy time and I try to bring that feeling to my edit with this preset. Autumn vibes will bring up those yellowish, golden, amazing autumn tones to the photos even if you use it for photos that have not been taken during fall. Winter's coming will bring up a vibrant and detailed look to the photos you apply it to, even if you do not apply it to photos taken during the winter or under the snow. up your shadows and your exposure in general, still giving you contrast and intensity so that you can have more details to your low light photos. And finally, Valentine's mood will bring you a cozy memory feel to your shots with a greenish tone and grainy texture that is so present in old photographs to try to bring you a feeling of something familiar, of memories and love. Try them out to any of your photos and adjust minor settings such as exposure, highlights, shadows, tint and maybe even a little bit of particular color in the adjustment panel and you will surely be able to have the perfect edit to each of your particular photos in a matter of seconds. This is the first pack of presets I ever released and I'm very excited and happy to be here sharing it with you. If you buy any of these presets, I want you to know that I'm very thankful to you. It absolutely helps me to keep this channel going. It helps me to keep creating content for you. It motivates me. It helps me to be able to buy more chocolate, which is something I love so much. And uh, it's one of the best ways you could possibly support me and still practice some of the things I've been trying to teach you here in this channel. So. Thank you enormously for that. Awesome to have you around. I hope you enjoy these presets. I hope you make great use of them. When you use these presets, please tag me on Instagram so that I can also check out your photo and support your work in return. I will be very happy to see you're making good use of these presets. Thanks so much for watching me, guys. I will see you in the next video. Ciao!